Welcome to the Great Wolf Lodge in Scottsdale, Arizona. There is so much for your family to do here, so let's check it all out. First off, there's a ropes course, which, by the way, we did. Terrifying. Not so bad. These guys, though, yeah, we'll see. There's also an enormous two-story rock wall with hard, medium, and easy routes for your family, which, by the way, we all also did. You'll find a nine-hole mini-mini golf course with different obstacles along the entire way, a mirror maze for you and your family to get completely lost in, you can go panning for gold and special gems in the river, you can also go bowling, kinda, have some arts and crafts in the special back room, play games in the fully stocked and loaded arcade, fight some monsters with magic, and oh yeah, did we mention there's a whole water park in here? There is a ton to do. In this video, we'll show you everything you need to know before booking your stay at the Great Wolf Lodge. If that sounds good, hit the like and let's get going. We'll go more in depth each of these in the future video, so subscribe and stick around. <laughs> Yeah, it's a water joke. Here's how we're breaking down the video. We'll explore the themed room, show you all of the activities, sample the food, and end at the water park. First up, the rooms. And sure, you can get a normal boring room, but don't do it, live a little. There are actually two different styles of themed rooms at the lodge. In the first, your kids can sleep inside a cabin. A set of bunk beds, an extra twin, along with their own personal TV, and some amazing artwork on the walls. The other option is a cave with a bunk bed and its own TV, along with a different set of artwork on the walls. Both rooms have windows adding to the immersion. These artwork pieces that they get to sleep next to are awesome, and we think the themed rooms are totally worth the upgraded cost. When you book your trip, and again when you first check in, you'll be asked if you want to add on the activity packages for each of your kids, the Wolf Pass, Paw Pass, and Pup Pass. Here's what you get. First up is a candy cup. You can fill it with as much candy as you possibly can, but the lid has to fit. While our kid enjoyed picking their favorites and filling the cups, they also never actually finished them. The exact same candy at other places is cheaper, and since you can easily bring your own, this one just isn't really worth the cost. Now, does that mean that the pass isn't worth the cost? We'll break that down here later on, but for now, just know this one's kind of expensive. Your pass also gets you a scoop of Ben & Jerry's ice cream. All right, this one's easy, y'all. It's ice cream, it's Ben & Jerry's. Oh my gosh, yes, please, more. Awesome. Next up is the arcade, and y'all, I'm torn here. I'm big on video games and arcades, and this place has all the staples. There's a clown toss, cornhole, and skee-ball. There's a good mix of skill-based and pure luck prize games, but the problem here is the cost. Oh my gosh, the cost. I'm not paying a dollar to play a game that Mark Rober taught me cheats. Everything here is great, but it's just way too expensive to play. The card that comes with your pass is gonna get you two to three games total, that's it. So enjoy them, then get out and don't look back. Magic Quest is a magical exploration game. You won't get this with your pup pass, but the wolf and paw passes will get you a magic wand and an adventure across the entire resort. Again, subscribe for our thorough exploration of Magic Quest in upcoming videos, but for now, just know that you can wander through the entire main floor completing quests, rescuing fairies, discovering treasure, and fighting goblins, evil wizards, and dragons with your magic wand. We actually completed our Magic Quest adventure and we'll upload everything soon. This game is great. Now, one thing I won't make you wait for is in the maps, which you'll find scattered throughout the lodge. The map of where to find each quest item is a map of the resort itself. I wish I'd figured that out a whole lot earlier. So there you go. Moving on to what only the Wolf Pass provides, let's go bowling, kind of. This is mini bowling, which is actually a whole lot better for you younger kids. You'll be using what feels more like a bocce ball than a bowling ball. The pins are attached by strings, which means they can't actually bounce around too much when they're knocked down, but just like the real thing, you can add bumpers to avoid the gutters if you want. I don't know if I'm selling this well or not, but this was a ton of fun. We played lots of rounds. Definitely a big winner! Right in the middle of the adventure area is a nine-hole mini golf course. Now, this feels more like a mini mini golf course. 
Each hole is around 5 to 10 feet long with only an obstacle or two to clear. But it's certainly themed well. While our kids aren't actually very good at golf yet, they enjoy hitting the ball across the course. Maybe this smaller size is actually good for them after all. For us as parents, it was still a lot of fun. Not quite the mini golf experience we're used to, but definitely not bad. About half the holes have a risk reward choice to make. If you try for the more difficult shot, you might get a hole in one, or you might get bounced back to the start. It's pretty well thought out for what it is. All things considered, we all had fun. This is a good time. Wolf Pass also gets you access to the Mirror Maze. Try not to get lost or bounced into a wall as you make your way deeper into the mine. This is actually a story-based adventure where you'll learn a little bit about mining and have interactive sessions after a short section of maze. You'll find out what they use canaries for. Don't worry parents, this is all G-rated. You'll connect dynamite and even dig further into the caverns. Our kids have never done a maze like this before. They were both instantly hooked. At one point, we were actually racing each other through the mine. We'll tell you about the unlimited plan in a minute, but just know this was the most fun our kids had outside of the water park. Five stars! The wall climb at the lodge is crazy fun. There's actually an easy, medium, and hard section to the wall, so whatever your skill level is, there's fun to be had here. My four-year-old made it up pretty high, which was pretty awesome. Everyone on staff here was super nice and helpful for the kids, even lifting them up a few times to give them a jump start. This awesome guy even pointed out which holds to use next for your hands and for your feet for both of my kids. Ultimately, the goal is to reach the button at the very top, but nobody in our family actually made it that far. Parents, you can climb the wall with your kids too. Race to the top or just inspire them to conquer their fears like I'm doing here for my seven-year-old. It was all included on the kids' wolf pass, so we didn't pay extra for our time. The kids loved this. Big smiles! Easily the most terrifying experience at the lodge, the Howler's Peak Ropes Course looms high above all of the other adventures in the sky. You'll get harnessed up and then face all of these short challenges to move forward. From stepping stones to thin bridge ladders to climbing across cargo nets, this course will definitely test your nerves. Several of the platforms even move and sway under your feet, making it even harder to finish. Like all the other activities in the Wolf Pass, parents will be able to participate with your kids. And just like I showed you on the rock wall, I'm actually here on my own trying to inspire courage into my oldest son who was too scared to try. Now, one thing to note here is that there's a strict height requirement for the ropes course they don't tell you about when selling you the pass. My youngest was actually really excited to try the course, but he wasn't allowed in. I wish we had known that before we bought the pass. Why would you sell me something and then not let me use it? But despite my disappointment, this is still a big win, and there's more than enough other activities on the Wolf Pass to make it worth the cost. One other activity that isn't included with any of the passes is panning for gems. You can buy a bag of mined dirt, bring it over to the water run, and sift for gems, which are buried inside. Overall, it's a really expensive way to get a few shiny rocks. I'd suggest giving it a hard pass, but it's worth mentioning. So, how do these passes measure up? For 60 bucks, the Pup Pass gets you some treats and arcade games, and a Wolf Build-A-Bear. Other Build-A-Bears cost around 10 to 25 bucks. Adding everything up, I just can't get to the $60 price tag of this pass. Moving on. The Paw Pass gets you the treats, arcade games, Magic Quest, and a pair of generic swim goggles. Wah, wah. You can get the Magic Quest game and wand for 35 bucks by itself, so again, I just can't reach the $70 asking price, so let's skip this one too. Now, for 10 bucks more, the Wolf Pass gives you all of the activities except for the gem pen. That's a lot of extra content for 80 bucks. If you're staying just one night, I think you'll have a ton of fun with just the water park. Maybe play Magic Quest for 35 bucks. But if you're here for two or more nights, the Wolf Pass is a great deal. They'll also offer you an unlimited pass. Instead of one round of bowling, rock climbing, maze running, and everything else, you will get unlimited rounds of bowling, the ropes course, the rock wall, the mirror maze, and mini golf. We upgraded 
one of our passes to the unlimited package and it was good for the whole family. If you're staying here two or more nights and you'll have the time to actually do these things, I think this is totally worth it. The Lodge also offers a lot of free activities for you and your family. Snap a picture of the schedule of events at the registration counter or use the calendar on your app. There's arts and crafts with this really cool lodge playground in the background. The tree stumps you may see in the background there are actually foam props you can move around and play with. Our kids spent a lot of time in here. They also offer a morning yoga class for kids. An instructor will teach your kids different poses, then incorporate them all into a story. The mats are provided for anyone who wants to join. Some people arrived late, others left early. It was totally cool. But one thing I highly recommend you don't miss is the Northwoods Friends story. This is more than just a projected movie. The background pieces actually move around. At one point, the frame itself even gets into the action. It's a ton of fun to watch, so take a seat and enjoy the show. And before you go to bed, come back downstairs in those PJs for a bedtime story. The wonderful staff will read you a book about the Northwoods Friends that you can buy in the gift shop if you like it. Oh, and if your kids still aren't ready for bed, have them put on their dancing shoes. That's right, there's a late night dance party for your whole family. I found this by accident around 9 p.m., well after our kids were already in bed. You're on vacation, let those kids stay up late. Oh. Inside the lodge, you can start your day with donuts and coffee from Dunkin'. They've also got breakfast sandwiches. If you're looking for something a little more filling, the Campfire Kitchen has a great breakfast buffet spread for you to pick from. You'll find sausages and bacon, muffins, bread, and toast, and even pancakes and special paw-shaped waffles. There's milk, yogurt, apples, bananas, oranges, all kinds of cereal for your kids to try, and different cut melons for your breakfast options. Outside, there's a whole range of sodas and different juices for you to pick from right here next to this huge buffet eating area. Off to the side, you'll find a pizza parlor that, honestly, we found less than impressive. Our slices of pizza were not made to order, and I think they've been sitting there a little while. And rounding out the options are places for burgers, hot dogs, and chicken, which you can also reach from the water park side if you want to eat while you're swimming. If you're looking for a more adult meal, you can try the Barnwood for cocktails, steak, shrimp, and burgers. The problem here is we found all of the food options overpriced and below average. So let me show you a better way and save you some serious cash. So here we are at the Great Wolf Lodge right next to the ballparks in this big area here. I'm going to show you the street view. I am not going to show you the satellite view because Google thinks it's still under construction. So that's what the Great Wolf Lodge looked like when it was being built. It is not the way that it looks today. Let's see the slides. <laughs> They're still building the slides. That's funny. Anyway, the slides are a lot safer than they are right here in the picture. But let's get back to the street view. So here we are back at the Great Wolf Lodge. Uh, you've got really only two streets to remember. There's Pima, which is directly west. It's kind of your main avenue to get out of the lodge. And then you have the main street, which is a light. It is going to be at Talking Stick Way. This is going to be the street that you used to get onto the freeway. And on both the north and south sides of Talking Stick Way, you are going to find an awful lot of restaurant options to eat at. So here on the north side, let's start here. You have Barrow's Pizza. Barrow's Pizza is kind of a Chicago-style sit-down pizza eatery. Great for families. We love the Barrow's Pizza. We love the food. We love the environment. Great place to go. Makes outstanding leftovers. Going down further south here, you also have a Babo Italian Eatery. Sorry if I mispronounced that. This guy is a Buffalo Wild Wings here. You also have Red Robin and Chipotle for some of your, uh, just kind of your basics and things here. A little bit further to the east, you've got uh, things like McDonald's. One thing with Denny's and Filberto's, uh, uh, these are not exactly fine dining, right? But they're here. It does have a Panda Express going up a little bit northern into the area. We really like the Blazing Mongolian Barbecue. It is awesome. It's also got some pick and roll Hawaiian style food. And then going on the south side of the road there, you do have a Popeye's. You've got a Taco Bell, Arby's. You are fast food people on your family vacation. Those are there a little bit for the west. And then here on the east side, you have a Chili's. We ate at Chili's twice on our last trip. We love this Chili's. It's great. 
You also have a Duncan over here. It's attached to a 31 Flavors, so you do have a Duncan inside the Great Wolf Lodge, of course. You have a Ben and Jerry's inside of the Great Wolf Lodge, but you've also got a couple of extra options. And then the Angry Crab Shack. These are a long walk, short drive from the actual Great Wolf Lodge, especially these here that are on the north side. This is a good five, 10 minute walk to get to some of these up here and then just across the street to get to these down over there. About a two minute drive to, uh, to get from one to the other. So a couple extra options for eating at the Great Wolf Lodge. Yes, we're finally here, am I right? Follow the animal tracks into Wiley's Water Park at the back of the resort. Now, we'll have a more in-depth look at everything and ride every single slide this place has to offer in another video, so subscribe! You really don't want to miss this. But for now, here are the basics. No matter what age your kids are, they have something specific here just for them. For the youngest littles, there's a very shallow splash pool with small slides and other play areas. It's gated so they can't escape without your help. Your older kids have this massive water playground with loads of water guns and slides. There's lots of activities to try out, two very small slides, a short tunnel slide here, and two big kid slides at the top of the mountain. We loved racing down together. And stay alert, because that big bucket at the top is going to tip over and soak the entire playground every few minutes. Right next to the kids' area, you'll find several basketball hoops and floating steps to try to cross for your more athletic kids and your teens. There's a small wave pool in here. If you hear the wolf howling in the water park, it's because the waves are about to start. Just beyond it is the water and hole, a great place to grab some drinks, and a small lazy river. And just beyond that lazy river are all the big slides. Now, when you first enter the water park, the friendly staff will measure your kids and give them a wristband based on their height. When you're choosing your slides, look at the signs posted nearby. You'll be able to tell which slides your kids can actually ride. There are three slides on the very top deck. The Diamondback Drop and the River Canyon Run are rafts for two to four riders. The River Canyon Run on the right can actually fit five. Then there's the Wolf Tail. Step inside the capsule, then the floor will drop out from under you, launching you straight down into a tight helix turn and out the bottom. I'm actually really sad it was closed while we were here. I would have loved to try it out, but we really enjoyed riding the other two slides together. The River Canyon Run here with all of the rainbows were one of our favorites of the entire park, and we could all ride together. The lower deck has two slides for one to two riders at a time on an inner tube, which you'll need to bring up the stairs with you. These are generally skinnier and faster with tighter turns. The yellow one even has a pretty good drop at the end. These will also drop you into the lazy river, so you won't need to get out right away if you don't want to. Your family has unlimited access to the water park starting in the afternoon of your arrival day, but make sure to check the website for any changes to that policy. You can also use the water park until the end of the day after you've checked out. There's no extra cost for your towels, tubes, or life jackets. Is that fun? That's so fun! So fun! <laughs> so, you know, all things considered, I'm glad we stayed. A couple of things here and there, they are definitely out to extract absolutely as much money from my pocket as they can. But all in all, it was fun. So I'm glad we came. Hope you come too. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time. We ride the teacups. Ariel.